wow, yo, yippee, yo, yippee, yay, yeah, guys. Pile number 10, and I'm super excited to be with you guys today. As always, we're going to deep dive into the love of the community, then talk about how Swissborg is growing on a daily basis. We're going to have a small touch about the thematics, talk about, of course, about what is happening with our beautiful opportunities in the DeFi space, talk about Swissborg token and the share, understanding where the value is and what's the future of it. Of course, as always, my name is Cyrus Fazel. I'm the proud founder and CEO of Swissborg, always here to serve you. Question of the week, uh, Perkula, and thank you for this question. And I think so, what are the plans to put the CHSB at the heart of the ecosystem? Thank you, Perkula, for this question. And I know a lot of people have been, you know, asking a lot of different questions. Uh, Julian As, Candotion, and there's probably Atika. There's so many people that are asking these questions. How can we boost it? There has been some new things that have been added, like now opportunities. Not only it's based on the release of premiums, but the, the higher the premium tier you are, the higher the location you're able to, to actually invest into these different uh, essentially opportunities. So we're always constantly looking for new things. I would love to hear more thoughts, more advices here. Of course, everything that we try to bring into the app takes a lot of time to be built. So for this, not that your 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 suggestions are not good or not great enough to be added is that sometimes it takes a lot of time and a little tweak into the app it's a, a quite a gigantic iceberg uh to essentially make it happen so we definitely are trying to put more and more ways we found great ways in 2018 we continue to develop in 2020 and if you look at all the utilities that we're trying always trying to bring back more things and try to always have a sustainable virtuous cycle of the CHSB being the heart of the ecosystem. And I think so next week or the following, I'm gonna have a real big AMA session, I think so on this with Anthony and, and Alex and probably other people and try to show the vision of how the Swissborg token could have a huge essentially space into the decentralized world. And I think so that is something that we really need to work on. We did this very well within the app, but now we need to touch more people. And to touch more people, we don't. We can only expect people to download the app and become premium, but we need to essentially make sure that there's utilities in the Swiss board token in the, in the decentralized world. Community member of the week, very excited to have Lilber. As you go, know, Astro is one of the first cyborg of all time. And we really love the fact that He's been uh, really uh, great in meeting in real life <laughs> in different meetups. Great about having a green laser eyes and Astro Boy making us really uh, growing the Swiss Bark fam around uh, the Twitter space. And and uh, and I know that uh, you've been asking for some time uh, a lot of different questions that we hope we could answer. Uh, he's right now trying to push the listing of Terranova. Which, by the way, what do you guys think about Ternoa? Please let us suggest here. We think, I know the team, Alex knows the team, Anthony knows the team. Uh, the team came to our office some time ago. Uh, we've met as well the co-founder, uh, Miguel, in uh, Dubai multiple times. What's your thoughts about Ternoa? What's your thoughts about their ecosystem? Do you believe that this is a token we should list or not? Uh, if you ask myself, I'm very bullish about it. Uh, I would like to hear your thoughts. Talking about great events, uh, these are great events happening in Lausanne or office. Anyone could show up to our office, get some goodies, have some good fun, take some nice pictures. I personally won't be there, unfortunately, uh, but just go for it. There's a lot of cool people. I heard that there's more things happening. If you want to go to Geneva, that is happening on this Friday as well. Uh, the meetup of Geneva is going to happen. And then, of course, Claire and Crypto, wonderful Claire, is having hosting a very good event uh, in London at the BrewDog. So uh, please check it out. There's the BrewDog in Paddington. Uh, hope I'll make it next time for a nice beer with you guys. Product update. We are bringing more opportunities to you guys and things that are committed on the long run. You asked in the time if would be crazy to stake to yield tokens for one year. 
Well, you know what is going to happen with Cake. Cake, as you guys know, is from the BNB chain. One of the most interesting, I uh, would say, decentralized exchange. Has really a great following, a great amount of essentially of, of different exchanges and yield on it. Uh, so you're going to be able to essentially able to get up to 40% APY, which is crazy when you think about it. And there's going to be one on six months and on 12 months. So it's really people for looking on the long run. What do I personally feel about Cake? I think so. It's a good one. It's a secure one. The, the team has changed and has really, you know, grown a lot of market shares into DeFi. So quite bullish there. Atom is going to be a nice one too. There's going to be a 90 period staking with no risk or at least the limit, most limited core risk, uh, which is Atom, as you guys know, is a cross chain, a multiple chain that has really shown a, a lot of different utilities within the blockchain world, how to interconnect these different chains, uh, things that have been with Osmosis and other different uh, protocols. And uh, yeah, very, very uh, excited about Autumn and very excited about the fact that we'll be staking and getting up to 12.5% APY on this beautiful opportunity. I think so. This is a very, very important. And a lot of people have been asking, what's the difference between uh, a share and a CHSB? And why sh one should buy shares, one should buy a CHSB, or potentially why people should buy both? Let's before getting into it, let's try to maybe separate this on three factors. The first one I'll say is on the legal aspect, because the investment, there's always a legal aspect to it. On a legal aspect, what you have with a share is that you have a piece of a company that is regulated and that the fact that this share following the law is enables you to have different rights. And it's as clear as that. On the other side, when you have a token, you have a piece of a network, but there's no legal obligations uh, to, from the company to the user to have certain rights. You, you can't just like, you could change potential utilities of the token, for example, where you cannot do this on shares. It's as easy as that. Then let's now think about what are the utilities of a share contrary to What's the utility of a token? A share essentially enables you with a piece of, of that company, enables you to have two different rights. One is your vote. The second is essentially the ability to receive dividends. Okay? So this is something that is, should be very clear. A utility, you could get anything out of it, and but nothing is enforced. Right. Maybe smart contracts on some different tokens it is, but usually it's quite rare. Right. It's more on the giving nature of how you can make a change out of it. And this is something that is in the making. That's why we're always bringing more utilities to the token. So as we're token, you guys already know what is the, the nature of it. Uh, you could, you could essentially vote, but then you could be use it to buy your status within Swissborg. Uh, that means you could get premium. With premium, you have different offers. Uh, we have uh, the possibility uh, to have layer of fees, higher higher uh, yields to get better opportunities. There's a lot of things, a lot of different things that go with the premiums, right? And then we there's a buyback, there's some burn, buyback and choose. We try to really make this as as quite entertaining as possible and bring a lot of utility to the Swiss Bird token. Now, in terms of risk, and this is something that's very important. A Swiss Borg share and a Swiss Borg token both have a great amount of risk. However, the share most likely has a bit less risk than the Swiss Borg token. And why is that so? Not necessarily, by the way. Just to make things clear, a share, what it does have is that it will always be enforceable by its nature. So whatever Swiss Borg's direction is going to go, you'll always have a piece. Whereas tomorrow, essentially a CHSB, if for whatever reason, Swiss Borg says, you know, we all cut the Swiss Borg token, it doesn't exist anymore. That's a possibility, which we'll never do, by the way, but just to make things clear, but that is doable. And 
well, the community will just, and ourselves, will just lose money and traction and love, and, and this will be a very bad decision, but legally, it is possible. Another thing which is interesting in terms of investments, if someone invests in a share, he or she can full, get the full capture of Swissborg, where the CHSB is not necessarily the whole full image, right? If we're starting, for example, with Xborg, there's no real link between CHSB and Xborg. There's no real link between Swiss board, the CHSB and, and, and hedge farm, for example. There's no, no link between a lot of different, essentially, products that we have from Swiss board to the, from Swiss, the Swiss, the CHSB to essentially different products. The Swiss board share actually essentially captures the entire space there. And that's something to, to, to be in consideration, which I forgot just before in terms of risk. The other part, why CHSB is less risky though from Swissborg shares, is that the liquidity, right? The Swissborg token itself, the great thing it is that it has liquidity. You could sell, you could buy it right now, and you could probably sell it right after. The Swissborg share is not the case. We're looking to many different ways to bring liquidity and be able to sell these different shares going forward. But as I said numerous times, we still don't have a hundred percent clear roadmap how we're going to do this legally how we're going to push this in the product and all of that. So that's something as well to be in frustration. So what I, what I think is that if you're a long-term investor, I think so it's great to have both, to be honest. If you're short -term, if you're mid-term investor, it's probably very interested to have both. If you're a short-term investor, it's probably very important to just go into the CHSB. If you if you want to as well understand is that if you invest into Swissborg share, there's probably a less chance for you to be able to take profits from this action in the short run. So that's why you have to look, little think about the mid run and and the long run. Well, I as I get you guys know, keep up keep up Pianova Sano Valentano, and I think so. We all think about that is that wealth is not done over a day. Uh, here, some people trade it very effectively, and this is great. But we still have a longer term perspective, which I think so we all agree on that one. So this is a bit the difference that we have between shares and, and, and the Swiss bar token. I strongly believe living in the world of having both and extracting value from both. I think so it's something that is really good and I'm really excited. The fact today we're almost 13,000 people. I still believe we need to get to 20,000. Uh, that is really uh, something I would love to see. Uh, you know, here we are. Let's refresh this. Uh, we are roughly at 12,742. I think so. We're probably close to 15 million francs in total um, between the private round and the public round, which is really great. Um, and, you know, there's probably over 13,000 investors between uh, these uh, private and public round, so which is great. But we still need to grow this to, yeah, I would say at least 20. You know, I would love 25,000 to get better than our ICO and to be a world record. Because I looked at the different stats when you think about what's happening right now through this amazing portal, this launchpad that we've built. I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is one of the biggest crowd equity funding of all time in terms of fundraised and as well in terms of people. It's, I think so. We're up at least in the top five or 10. So these are really historic moments that a lot of you I should thank and, uh, and essentially be proud. Be very proud of yourself of taking that leap when probably a lot of people around you say, again, yeah, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Why do that? Why do that in a worse time? We'll do that in a worse time because you get a, low, your, your lower valuation. You'll probably be able to profit from this investment in a very nice way as you did with the ICO. You'll be able us to bring bring more fuel, more more gas to to bring the expansion of building amazing products, and more importantly, we'll probably get to the philosophy that we love, which is being financial independence, be able to be part of a community that wants to build a decentralized world, that wants to bring wealth management to the to the to the to the greater good. And I think so. This is something that I'm very excited. You know that many people have already been able to tap into that wonderful debit card that is taking time to be built. But of course, people are putting a lot of effort there. What I would like to understand is um, what is the next perk? 
what are the great ideas that you guys have in mind to boost this wonderful uh uh you know crowdfund to the next level right where we go from 12,000 we double it up we go to 25,000 how can we double up this in the next 40 days does that mean that everyone who invested should just bring one person extra and refer that person and get into it that's one way but is there other things that will bring more people to be partners and i think so a lot of people are saying like well that's your job sir <laughs> i mean I swear, I'm thinking about it all day. There's a lot of different things, some crazy ideas I have, but I really would like to see what you have. The most voted uh, idea here, I will give it I think, 500 seats beats the most voted one and just throw different ways that we could really grow this, this community and become partners I mean, 25,000 partners would be amazing, amazing limit. And we just have 40 days left. So I know we could do it. You know, it, things are quite crazy, but it's always in the last moments that people start running up, rushing and go to their, to get their world records. And, and it's not to be world record. And just to remind that again, we did another best record is to do we as Borgers. We're crazy enough to again do the impossible and make it possible. And I think so. This is a lot what we do at Swissborg is just be together, try to create great, try to gather a lot of great ideas to swarm in, to bring this democratic way of building things, have this strong community of green laser eyes and beautiful green hearts. And yeah, and make our dreams come true. And I think so being part of that moment, it will give us not only cool NFTs and a digital identity forever, it will remind ourselves, our children, our great grandchildren, what did we do to finance? What did we do to this world in order to make it with a make break break big big smile out of it? Sorry, <laughs> I'm losing my words. Uh but yeah. When I talk about this, get emotion, emotional, and uh, I think so. It's beautiful. The thematics, guys. As you guys know, the thematics is the way to build wealth. To look on the long run. If you look what the thematics is all about, is to find that right vision and then to push it and eventually to make it really happen. Uh, we have today uh, a lot of people that have uh, been part of the thematics. Uh, it has had crazy amount of, per you know, uh, of love in the last month or so. Uh, if you, we look at the blog here, uh, where is the web thing? January, um, 12,000 people actually have be part of it. A little bit over 7 million euros, which it is, it's just growing as we speak and the performance just been crazy. Uh, just when you think about it, it's crazy, right? So, um, Solana was obviously the biggest contributor. Sad to see that Swissboard was the le least one. But again, we talked about this earlier. I'm, I'm going to make this personal challenge to make this happen. Ethereum obviously was a great one. Uh, Kusama was a great. Cardano was a great one. Near Protocol. Then I didn't see any Mina. <laughs> to be honest, I would never have bought Mina. This really shows again how these things just are just great. It's just, it's really great. And <laughs> essentially shows you here what it is doing uh the sad story is that i already have a lot of these in my portfolio uh, a little bit less a secret but still have some of this and you see how the coin market cap it has outperformed it overall in the last and this is i think so why we build these great wealth management products now i have a question for you um 200 chsb for anyone who names the thematic Web3 with a better name. Sorry for the one who put that name, Web3. Uh, people don't understand it. Uh, and I think so we need to change names because people don't really realize what it's capturing. It's capturing what Web3 applications could be built on, but it just doesn't, people doesn't really understand it. So just please create different names. What do you think that'll make sense? And the one has the most likes, well, 
you'll get some CHSB. CHSB, some data, as you guys know, a little bit more, 15% uh, more premium than last week, 344, which is really good. Uh, overall, we're still not at 200 million, so you can still <laughs> put a date for this one uh, if you're uh, looking forward to get a 200 million question right uh, for 2,000 CHSB, which is quite crazy when I think about it. Uh, we're still shy of 148,000, so not so much, which bring us to the community index. Cast your vote right away and see if we were over 7.4 of last week or a little bit less, a little bit up, a little bit less, up, down, up, down. <laughs> and unfortunately, we're down. Main reason is coming from the fact that we have had some little bit less app activity than last week and the invitations fell a little bit. So this, it is what it is. Another week, another thing's happening uh, with the Swissborg network. Uh, overall, we're very excited about um, the thematics. We're very excited about this fundraise. We're very excited about knowing what you think, how you could really uh, grow our Swissborg ecosystem, not always by inviting people and trying to grow it, but trying to make things smarter. And I think so the CHSB question was a great one. How do you see the difference with shares is a great one. And how can we, what's the big next thing about Swissborg? Because we saw the different layers and it's great. And this is all about connecting CFI and DeFi. But then where is the next big step, the leap where we could grow as an ecosystem and where everyone could be building on our infrastructure and connecting to us in a very easy way through the whole Web3 journey. And I think so this is exactly where, you know, I'm trying to send some hints to show you some spices of how this beautiful meal is going to be cooked and how everyone's going to beautifully be, be happy about how Swissborg is always building this in a simple, secure <laughs> and Swiss way things and bringing trust to you guys. And um, for this, it's time you have a lot to work, guys. So please look into a way where we could really grow, have this real network effect on this next last 40 days of the fundraise and how we could get to that 25,000 people. Second, this time, let's find a cool way to maybe rename the Web3 thematics. Sorry for the people internally if you're listening, but it doesn't seem like this is appealing enough. And last but not least, be healthy, be wealthy, love our CHSB, and now we're equity. Take care, guys. Bye. Through Swissborg, all assets will have a fiat gateway. And here is the thing. Premium features gives you zero fee trading. It's a, an amazing fiat gateway.